wonderful, beautiful people. I'm going to be reviewing, oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, sorry, I didn't know I was so close. Okay. Hi! One day I'll have a video where I'm not in my bathroom. I mean, maybe I'll put like a whole studio in, in my room and like have some green screen and then I'll pretend like I'm, you know, at a beach or something. Something more unique than this shower curtain. Hey, Hoovers. <laughs> Today we're going to be reviewing another mascara by Maybelline. And you know what? I love Maybelline. I love their products, or at least their mascaras. But I am kind of irritated with seeing the same volume express. There's Volume Express, the Colossals, the Falsies, Turbo, and there's like three other Volume Express mascaras, and the packagings are always the same. The only thing different is the color. And you know, the concept is they're all supposed to provide crazy volume, but I'm ready to see something different from them. I'm ready to see some new packaging, something besides the same Volume Express crap. That's my way of saying, I love you Maybelline, but come up with something different, okay? My one is, I mean the claims are starting to sound the same, you know what I mean? Oh, volume, length, separation, great. This is another mascara where the claims are like, instant lash by lash, clump free volume. The packaging is going to look like this when you go to buy it. And, um, you know, nothing spectacular here. Of course, if you turn to the back, it's going to show you what the wand looks like. And, you know, I really don't have any complaints, except I'm just kind of tired of seeing the same Volume Express name and wand style. It's just getting so redundant right now, Maybelline. So if you're listening to me, come up with something a little bit different, you know, something with... Wow, as far as the packaging goes, I'm not even going to spend that much time on this because obviously it looks like the other five Volume Express mascaras. The only difference is the color. And this is an extreme black. Extreme black. So funny. What is extreme black? Am I extreme black? Oh, I'm so silly today. I think it has something to do with wearing the Hello Kitty sweatshirt, which always brings out the seven-year-old in me. Let's move on to the wand, which is a great wand. I have no complaints there. This is perfect for separating. Uh, and I can see why they call it why, why, why they call the mascara one by one because this will allow you to really get to each one of your lashes from root to tip. So they get an A plus in the naming department. Although one by one sounds more like a name of a show than a mascara. Anyway, we move on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply it on my lashes. And I think I need to remove my eyeshadow first, which sucks because I kind of like the eyeshadow I have on. Hold on just a second. I went ahead and I removed the eyeliner so that you can get a better look at my lashes when I apply. And I will turn on the light here so you can really get a good look at what this mascara is going to be doing. So again, it's supposed to be separating and volumizing from root to tip and getting each and every one of my lashes. So let's see if that's what happens. Okay, there you go. That's one coat. And as you... Oh! How about I zoom in here a little bit? How about that? There we go. Perfect. Uh, as you can see, it is getting into my lashes very well. Nice separating. I don't see much volume, but I'm getting a little bit length. So let's do another coat. And there we go. That's our second coat. Uh, it does good. It does very well with the separating. So if you're a lady whose lashes are kind of wonky like mine, this is a great mascara and it really looks like my eye is talking to you right now. So I'm going to zoom out, okay? But yes, it's a great mascara for, oh, that's even closer, for someone who really wants to separate their eye lashes and give your eyes a more distinct, standout kind of, you know, wazow up in this area. It does good in that department. Is it a volumizer mascara? To me, it seems more like a link. This eye, I already applied it. In fact, let me zoom in here so you can get a better look. And of course, it's not going to be as good because I have eyeliner on. But this has three coats. And the great thing about this mascara is that it's buildable. And what that means is you can apply a coat and then three minutes later come back and apply another coat. And then an hour later, apply another coat and it will still look good and it won't clump on you. So that is definitely a 
Big plus, a lot of mascaras don't do that. The falsies, for example, if you apply like two coats or more, the falsies is going to clump on you. Whereas this gives you a chance to kind of build and build and build and build your lashes to produce long, lush lash. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys because, you know, I pride myself on being an honest beauty blogger. You know what I think? And this is just between you and me, or me and you. Well, yeah, whatever the grammatically correct way of saying it is. I'm starting to think that the Volume Express is the same formula, but a different wand. I know. Don't hate me for it, but that's what it's starting to feel like. Like there's so many of the, there's so many Volume Express mascaras, and the only thing different are the wands. So, you know, I'm a smart young lady. I like to think I'm a smart young lady, even though I can't multiply that well. I still think I'm a smart individual, and I'm a logical thinker. And there ain't but so many different formulas in a mascara. So how do you make people think that it's changed? You change the color. You change the color of the packaging. You change the name. But I think that the formula is the same. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop buying Maybelline mascaras because I believe in reviewing all mascaras that you guys present to me or that I think you guys may like. So, I'm going to keep reviewing them, but I'm starting to feel like a little bit redundant. And I've, most of the mascaras I've reviewed have come from Maybelline. And it's just starting to be like a wheel right now and they're doing the same. It's just getting a little tiring. So, I hope that Maybelline surprises us in 2011 because right now, this is like... Let me know what you think. If you tried it or want to try it, let me know your thoughts. I hope I'm not like some psycho mascara person who is like exaggerating. I want to know what you guys think, okay? And in the meantime, I'll see you later. Bye! Oh! I thought it was off.